It's Wednesday, April 27th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now with the headlines for today. The ruling Democratic Party has unilaterally passed two controversial bills on prosecution reform in the wee hours of Wednesday morning through a parliamentary committee. The ruling party used its majority to railroad the bills that are aimed at removing the prosecution's authority to investigate. This has been strongly objected by the main opposition party, which plans to block the bills with a filibuster if they're introduced at a full session of the National Assembly. Now the ruling party is seeking to finalize the bill's passage with cooperation from the Speaker of the National Assembly, who can convene a plenary session to vote on the bills. The U.S. and China responded to the remarks by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un that the regime will continue to strengthen its nuclear power. Kim made the statement while showcasing various weapons including an ICBM at a military parade on Monday. In response, the U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said Washington's goal remains the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. He also stressed that the U.S. has no hostile intent towards the North and is open to diplomacy and dialogue. China also responded to Kim's remarks, with its foreign ministry spokesperson Wang Wangbin saying China will continue to strengthen communication with relevant parties for the political settlement of issues on the Korean peninsula. It's already been a year since the Samsung family donated the lavish art collection of the late Samsung chairman Lee Kuan Yew to the nation. In celebration of the one-year anniversary, the National Museum of Korea and the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art will hold a joint exhibition at the National Museum of Korea's Planning Exhibition Hall. The exhibition will run for four months, starting tomorrow until August 28th. It will feature 355 pieces of art in total, which is more than double last year's collection. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.